tweeting, posting on Facebook, and getting ripped off. Tonight, Call 7 investigator Teresa Marchetta uncovering the top five social media scams and what you need to know to avoid becoming a victim. Balloons filled with helium, part of an auction put together by Christy Bowers to raise money for cystic fibrosis research. But she also raises money and awareness through social media. Some of our best support can be raised through the internet or social media. Even so, Christie's quickly learned so-called friends on social media aren't always what they seem. Well, I had someone share a picture on there, and they had said, click on this picture, and it looked legitimate. It wasn't long before Christie found out that friend who supposedly sent her the picture had been hacked, and it linked to a crippling virus. I know that I keep lots of documents and all my family photos and all of those things on the computer and then you get a virus and, and a lot of times those things cannot be recovered. So they're looking to set you up. Tim Stadler is a former police cybercrime detective and a cybersecurity specialist. They can be devastating to both their personal life as far as their identity being stolen, to their home computer, uh, to their work computer, to their employer's work computer. He says there are five innocent looking social media scams we should all know about. Let's check out number one, a Facebook post from a friend inviting you to link to a photo album. Number two, emails that disguised to look like they're from Facebook notifying you a friend has commented on one of your photos. Number three, an instant message from a friend with a plea for financial help. Four, a tweet inviting you to check out a funny video through a short link. And number five, a message that appears to be from LinkedIn inviting you to download documents for a meeting. Stadler says these five scenarios are actually just the beginning. Over half of all the tweets and texts are actually spam or malware virus type links. So how do you protect yourself? Stadler says the simplest way, never click on a link. Instead, to see photos, for example, go directly to the original host site. Finally, you may want to go through your list of Facebook friends. If you have more than 80 friends, you've got people you do not know as a friend. And those are your scammers, those are your spammers. It's advice Christie's learned to take seriously when it comes to social media. I just think we need to be a little bit more cautious about what we're clicking on. Teresa Marchetta, 7 News.